皆さんこんにちはトニー・モリです今回はスタークスリープ地区のシルバーラード・ビンヤーズを訪れていますそれでは皆さんご一緒にどうぞナパバレーにあるシルバーラード・ビンヤーズはロン・ダイアン・ミラー夫妻によって1981年に設立され3世代にわたりワイネリーが営まれてきました1976年にこの地に定住した夫妻は最初の数年間は他のワイナリーに栽培してブドウを販売していましたが1981年からワイン作りを開始しました現在はブドウ畑を6カ所に所有し栽培面積は160ヘクタールに達していますアメリカ国内だけでなく世界中20カ国に年間6万ケースを出荷していますそれではスタッグスリープ地区にあるシルバーラード・ビンヤーズのジェネラルマネージャーのラッソルさんとワインメーカーのジョンさんにお話を伺ってみたいと思います。Well, in 1976, Ron and Diane Miller, our owners,、uh, came to the Napa Valley and settled in Yonville on the Miller Ranch. That's the very first property that they, they purchased where our Sauvignon Blanc grows today.、Uh, over the years, they,、uh, they sold their fruit to other terrific Neighbors、uh, and wineries here in the Napa Valley. And in 1981, they decided, well, this looks like it's pretty good. Maybe we should make our own wine. So they established the winery here in the heart of Stag's Leap District, which is really、uh, Napa's neighborhood for great Cabernet. And、uh, that was in 1981.、Uh, since then, of course, the estate has grown. We are now、um, six vineyards, 400 acres. Mostly Cabernet, that's, that's what we do the most of, but we also have, as I said, the Sauvignon Blanc Ranch and then a couple of ranches down in Carneros for, for Chardonnay.、Uh, and, uh, and we are truly a, a family owned、uh, with now three generations of Millers involved in the, in, in the winery and、uh, truly a state. As I said, with the, the, the 400 acres and the six different vineyards,、uh, we, we do everything from the berry right in, on into the bottle.、Um, the, uh, Um, the winery now has grown to about 60,000 cases, uh, and, uh, and we're very fortunate that we're、uh, not only uh, uh, sharing these wines with wine lovers here in the United States, but、uh, all over the world now in、uh, 20 different countries.、Uh, well, for me,、uh, the most important aspect in making wine is really the source, which, as you look around, You can see it, it's the soil, it's where we're growing the grapes.、Uh, this is a very unique、uh, place in the world that allows us to produce world class wines. So it start, starts from the ground. Well, you know, again, we've been making wine since 1981, growing grapes、uh, since the mid 70s, and a lot of it is really、uh, history and experience.、Uh, when the Millers first came, To the valley,、uh, this particular vineyard, our Stag's Leap property, looked very, had a very different makeup than it does now. Now it's、um, Cabernet with a little bit of Merlot planted.、Um, but in the 70s, that's, people weren't really drinking that, so it looked very different. I mean, we were growing Chardonnay and Pinot Noir was here. And so the point that I'm really trying to make is we understand our sites and it's putting the appropriate. Or trying to put the most appropriate、uh, varieties on those sites. And I think that's really important too. So we're not sort of rolling a rock up a hill. Okay, so our first is our,、um, actually our first vineyard designate wine. Again, if you think about our name, it's Silverado Vineyard. So we are trying to honor each、uh, site as much as we can by doing a vineyard designate wine.、Uh, vineyard designate wines、uh, mean 95% of the fruit has to come from that. Particular vineyard, which is very important because you get really the aspect of a sense of、uh, the place and, and, the, and the vintage as well. So, this is Sauvignon Blanc from our Yontville property,、uh, Miller Ranch.、Uh, it's our 2009, and it does have semi on blended in,、uh, made in、uh, stainless steel、uh, tanks, cool fermentation. And that's really done to just accentuate the brightness of the fruit.、Uh, people like Sauvignon Blanc because it has great acidity and great vibrancy. And we are definitely trying to showcase that. 
and then our single vineyard red wine uh, Cabernet. This is 100% Cabernet from this vineyard right here, our Stag's Leap. Again, uh, our first uh, vineyard where we were growing Cabernet Sauvignon, again, a way to really honor the site. And quite frankly, I, I don't think you can find a, really a better area to grow Cabernet. Uh, it's a perfect area where we get uh, ripeness without getting too, too much extraction. We are able to get a great acidity, great structure in this site, which um, is really the hallmark of this area and, and our wines in particular. それではシルバードビニヤーズの2009年ソービニオンブランを提出してみます。やはりあのシトラス系がこう全面に出た、まあ、ライムそれと、まあ、マイヤーズレモンとか、まあ、グレープフルーツでオレンジですねそれとちょっとですねあのかすかにあの生姜のようなあのアロマもきますけれども、まあ、はつらつとしたですねこうパワフルな、まあ、清涼感を呼ぶようなそんなあのソビリオンブランドですけれどもすごくキリッとした最後のあのフィニッシュもすごく爽快感のあるフィニッシュであの結構だと思いますこのソーミリオンブランでしたら、まあ、季節的にですねあの、まあ、アジア料理にはほとんどこのソーミリオンブランっていうのは相性がいいんですけども、まあ、この季節でしたらあの絹ごし豆腐にですねあのポン酢またはあのお醤油に、まあ、おろし生姜とあ刻みネギで召し上がったら最高のペアリングじゃないかと思いますけども。それではシルバード・ビニアーズの2007年カブレノ・ソービニオンを提出してみます。すごく深みのある、まあ、複雑味を帯びたあの嫌味のない酸味とそれとあのタニンのバランスもすごくまろやかで、まあ、このカブルネでしたらあの、まあ、あのラムチョップかまたラムステーキですかそれは、まあ、あの赤ワインソースで決めていただければあのいいんじゃないかなと思いますけど、まあ、お試しください。Well, hello, I'm Russ Weiss. I'm general manager here at Silverado Vineyards, where we're right in the heart of Stag's Leap District, which is at the southern end of Napa Valley, about an hour's drive from、uh, San Francisco Airport, where we'd love for you to come visit us.、Uh, we're open every day,、uh, uh, seven days a week. And,、uh, and if you come in the evenings on Fridays, particularly,、uh, we can give you a table right here on the terrace for the whole evening,、uh, where you can just relax and enjoy、uh, these beautiful views of the Napa Valley. Welcome. 皆さん、シルバラード・ヴィニアーズはいかがでしたか炎上していただけましたかそれではまた次回。I'll see you guys next time.